Hey YouTubers, my name is Rival X Factor, and it's time for a Terran Republic Combat Medic Gun Review. The base gun is the T1 Cycler, featuring a high rate of fire, low recoil, low bullet deviation, making this gun an absolute monster at medium and long range. But it could be better at close range. So how do you improve upon almost near perfection? You equip the RF3, the close quarter, faster brother of the cycler. But before we equip that, let's shoot the cycler and take a couple notes. We're going to shoot the wall and not counter the recoil. Straight up, low vertical recoil, low bullet deviation. So let's counter that. Simply, you pull straight down. And watch where the crosshair goes. Not very far from home. Again, this is a home run hitter in medium and long range, and you will make people disappear quicker than Houdini. So let's talk about the RF3 and what situations it's good at and what situations to avoid. First off, avoid long distance encounters. I'm going to show some footage come on, coming up a live gameplay where I actually talk about a couple instances of good, bad, and ugly. Next, let's look at the recoil, not correct it. Very aggressive vertical recoil with a slight left horizontal recoil. So how do you counter this and how do you use this gun? Well, if I'm here to this wall and that's a bad guy, I'm going to burst it. And I'm going to pull down to the right. Just like my mouse and crosshair are traveling now. Because again, this gun has a very, very aggressive vertical recoil with a pretty aggressive horizontal recoil as well, which makes this gun not so good at medium to medium long range. The last thing I want to talk about is the hip fire abilities of this gun when you put on the good old laser sight. Watch the crosshairs as I strafe. They don't blue much. Watch the crosshairs as I shoot and mag dump in 10 round bursts. Simply amazing. So let's get to the live footage. Taking a look at my map, I noticed that the NC are about to take the Haka, so why not take a peek, right? Well, what do I got to lose? Well, I stumbled on an NC beehive of trouble. Blow up the tank, I'm being either shot at by an AA Max or Skill Guard, aka Hamster, aka Lightning, and I need to get the heck out of this thing because I'm about to go down with the ship. Good thing I bail out, so let's get this bad boy out and see what it can do. Of course, I'm a medic, so I can heal myself. I can regenerate my health back to full and slowly wait for my armor to come back as well. So I watch one of the areas that they can pop up. I already know there's at least one spawn point down there with a whole bunch of NC, so let's see what kind of damage I can do. The key here is to look at the very fast time to kill at these close range targets. Instantly disappearing. The gun's recoil isn't too bad up close. But again, you need to avoid the medium to long situations. So let's make another peek and see if we can bait somebody up into my little spider trap. Because right now I'm getting free kills. No one's really looking at me. And here's a tip. Don't shoot at somebody as soon as they spawn in. Wait a second until their feet set because then they'll take damage. I got people shooting at me. Time to retreat. Time to fall back. And here comes a little hit fire after this guy kind of floats out. I gather my bearings and cover myself as my armor rebuilds. One of the biggest keys I can give you guys is let your armor rebuild before you decide to peek back out. If you're just health, the wind is going to blow on you and you're going to drop over dead. If you have your armor and your health and some of your perks at your disposal, such as the shield for the heavy or the uh, health regeneration, you have a chance. My shield's down. I'm in trouble. Let's see how this bad boy ADS is. Not too bad. Oh crap, I gotta reload. Down to just health. Not bad. As you can see, this gun is a true breadwinner at close quarters. So you saw what this gun is capable of up close. Now let's look at long distance and medium distance. Even though I'm bursting, micro bursting and bursting, the recoil and severe bullet deviation at these ranges is too much. The cycler would have dropped both of those targets in a heartbeat due to its low recoil and super low bullet deviation or bloom or cone of fire. There's medium range, people disappear. Medium range to longish range, not too bad. So again, this gun is highly situational. 
Do you want to be spawning at a Sunderer and have to run 300 meters across a field to get to the action? No, you're probably going to die with this kit because you're caught out in the open. But if you have a spawn close to home or you're defending a base, go ahead and strap on this bad boy. Put a later sight on there to bonus out the hip fire, and you are going to have a blast. People simply disappear. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this how-to review and tutorial. Let me know what you think down below. And as always, YouTube, thank you for the support, and we'll see you soon.